and welcome to Mikia. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I think once this is dry we'll be just sneaking into the end of July and July is challenge on the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group has been internal negative space. Now what does that mean? I don't know but we're going to start this <laughs> I'm going to start this painting off with putting some negative space down. There you go. Uh, so negative space is literally just where the colours don't go. That's really all it is. And in acrylic pouring, most often it's done with white. Although as the art form has developed, more and more people have been using non-white to... To do it and uh, but I'm just gonna stick with our good old white for today um, just pick up some of this paint that's fallen off and reuse it now talking of reusing the colors I'm going to be using are reused from yesterday's pour or last video, whatever, I'm not sure how often I'm posting at the moment. Um, depends on what my days are going like and whether I've got more videos coming. I'm so busy at the moment. I'm running around. I'm hosting the most amazing man, Mr. Christopher Hughes, up in Auckland for a Right Voice for You class. Oh, I'm so excited. That is coming up like in... Well, from now, it's in two weeks. So, yay! Um, anyway, back to the painting. So, some of you may remember this chain. It's quite a big, chunky chain. And uh, what I'm going to do with it is similar to what I did to it last time. But I'm not going to put it in... Last time I used this, I spiraled it right up close to itself. And then I poured paint on it. And then I unspiraled it, laying it out, pulling it across the painting. As you can see, it's not all tightly cooled in the middle this time. <laughs> okay. So, let's see if we can get this. So, I scraped this up off the canvas, uh, off the round the edges. After we finished doing the cabochons on the last painting, there was still quite a bit of paint left in there. So, as you can see, ish, there is, oh, that's better, um, kind of, Still some of the burgundy and the blue and the white in there. And I am going to pour that on the chain. Just like this. Getting to less. All right. Here we go. Painting finished. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm funny sometimes. No, not very often. So, it's just... Ah, uh, dribbled. But it's pretty cool anyway. Now, there was no silicon in any of that. So, I'm not expecting large quantities of bubbles to come up. Uh, of silicon cells to come up. But we're definitely going to get some air bubbles. It may 
get some Floetrol cells. And I want that to run off there more straight. And Now it looks like my chain wasn't completely dry. That's a bit annoying. I'll show you what I'm seeing. Can you see down in here? Incy wincy little travel. It's where the water has traveled across the top of the paint so I'm just gonna daub those in and I've got some more over here as well so I'm just gonna daub those in okay Zoom back out again. See my zip, my drip. Not a fan of that. So let's spread it a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Anybody excited about this painting? Um, I'm not. But I'm not sure what to do with it other than scrape it. Any, uh, many, many, mo. What should I do? Okay. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm getting that it needs some gold. <laughs> And also some more burgundy. So I have this is actually not burgundy, this is more purple. It's had more blue added than the burgundy. Um so let's just pour a little bit of that in there where's my gold a little bit of that in there I'm just going to do two layers of each. And then so twist it at the bottom there. And then I'm going to Bring that in a swirl and dribble it. <laughs> Not enough gold. What's happening here, guys? It's 
Okay. Ah. I'm just going to flick some silicon around, see. And then I'm just dipping the palette knife into some of the white paint that's on the ground underneath the painting. Just so that each time I dip it's vaguely Vaguely white, whited. got silicon in there so let's see if anything interesting happens I'm liking it better like this even if we get no silicon coming up Do feel though that that last little bit needs to be somethinged. I like it. I like it. I do like it. I've still got any silicon left on my fingers. This side's got heaps of cells, and this is like got very little. There we go. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. Wow.
Check out those cells growing. Yuppie! <sighs> that is so yummy. I do like that. I am very happy. I must say, I'm sort of feeling like there should be a little bit of colour. And a little bit of dragging through here. Just to break some quite serious lines through there, which I wasn't liking. That's better. <sighs> Yum. Alright, pop the air bubbles that I got just created with those. Happy, happy Mickey. What do you guys reckon? A mess or a masterpiece? Oh, look at the gold. Look at the gold. Check, check, check it. Check it out. Oh, yum. So we do still vaguely have some internal space in there. Look, it's white. It's white in the middle, baby. Look at all those cells. Oh, they're so multifaceted, yummy. Oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Happy Mickey. <sighs> there we go, guys. Still got the spiral. Still got the white negative space in the middle-ish. <laughs> But it's, it's, it's exciting. That's what it is. It's exciting. Right. Stop it. Walk away, walk away, walk away. You know me. I don't want to walk away. I, I, I'm, I'm not 100% happy with that centerpiece. So... Guess what I'm going to do? You know that chameleon effect that people have been doing? Let's just... Add a little bit. Add a little bit of silicon. Just want to break some of this intensity of lines up. That's it. See, it's, maybe you can't see, sorry. It's just kind of morphed and spread some of these lines. Just that little bit. That... Yep, happier now. They're not straight lines anymore. 
sorry. Ah! Autofocus, stop it. Ah. Okay. Let's just take you on a bit of a guided tour. Oh, I do like it. All right. So I'm going to leave it to dry. And I will be back once this is dry to show you the end result, which will be your time in three, two, one. Ta da! It's dry and I love it. It's so cool. It's so very, very cool. Just look, 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 look at these, these little eyeballs. Where is it? Come on. Ah, oh, there. There we go. That's gold and black. Look, that one looks like it's actually the eye in the thing and it's got a galaxy in its center. Or a cataract, whichever way I want to look at it. <laughs> it's so cool. These cells are delicious. And the overall look is delicious. I love it. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm not overly fussed with the center. But hey, you know. I don't hate it, and that's a good thing. How does it get any better than this? Yay! Alright, so there we go. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, what have you been creating? And are you sharing it in the Acrylic Boring for Fun Facebook group? If not, come join us over there. It's lots of fun. There's some cool people showing some cool stuff. Um, I'm really bad at sharing my work in the group, but then I'm not very good at sharing my work even on my own Facebook page. So, how's it getting any better than that? Um, and if you want to join me on future live events and want a heads up, then sign up on there. And what else is possible? What else could we choose? What else could we be? What else can we do? I don't know. Just yet. But if you keep asking, how does it get better than this and what else is possible? The awareness shows up, guys. So be you have fun change the world and keep asking how does it get better than this what else is possible i'll see you all really really soon and uh how much fun can you have bye bye